Today, President Trump pulled his own nominee for Director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Ron's a good man, but we're going in a tougher direction. We want to go in a tougher direction. A few hours later, at a meeting with Border Patrol in California, Trump repeated threats to shut down the border and impose new tariffs on Mexico that would supersede a brand new trade deal. He seems to be testing out policies on the fly. As I say, and this is our new statement, the system is full. Can't take you anymore. Can't take you anymore, I'm sorry. And look, I inherited this stuff and we're gonna get it fixed, we have to. If he inherited this stuff from anyone, it was Obama's last Homeland Security Secretary, Jay Johnson, who faced a surge at the border in 2014 when more than 68,000 unaccompanied minors, mostly from Central America, crossed illegally. So tell me what you said that piqued the interest of the president actually tweeted about your yes. TV appearance. Well, I said that 4,000 arrests on our southern border, 100,000 in a month, is truly a crisis. I then went on to, in the same interview, prescribe all the things that I think should be done to deal with the crisis and what we seem to be doing wrong. The one sentence, it is truly a crisis, quote unquote, basically went viral. And the reason for this, of course, is that people in the administration, the president himself and his allies, basically say, see, even the Obama guy says it's a crisis. You have to believe us now. Well, 4,000 in a day, 100,000 in a month, by any measure, by any definition, is a crisis. The fact that people at those levels are leaving those countries, it's a crisis in terms of our border personnel's ability to handle it and process all those people. And it's a crisis in terms of the communities along the border that have to somehow absorb those numbers. Let's take a look at the current administration. Are they doing a good job? as long as you fail to address the underlying conditions that lead people to flee the burning building in the first place, it's going to revert back to its longer term patterns. And that's exactly what's happening. That's happened all throughout 2018. But now in March, April 2019, we're seeing levels we haven't seen in 12 years. So plainly what the current administration is doing is not working. People in Washington want simple solutions. They want some legal lever to pull, like close the border or declare an emergency to solve illegal migration. We want quick fixes. Build a wall. We want quick fixes. Dealing with illegal migration from Central America requires a long-term investment and a sustained political commitment in addressing the poverty and violence in the Northern Triangle. We've done this before. It can work if done smartly. Suspending aid to Central America is the exact wrong thing to do. So when you were at DHS, you were running DHS, the Obama administration, as you well know, was heavily criticized for its immigration policy. What was it that you did that you think was, you know, successful over that period of time at minimizing the number of people coming over illegally? I would say three things contributed to the rather sharp downturn we saw in summer 2014. One, messaging about the dangers of the journey. Two, we expanded family detention, which was controversial. And three, we got the Mexican government to help us on their southern border. The Mexicans stepped up and put more border security resources on their southern border with Central America. And the combination of those three things, I think, contributed pretty quickly and pretty significantly to a downturn such that by 2015, we saw the second lowest number of apprehensions since 1972. When you look at the way Washington DC is talking about these governments and talking about what they will do to alleviate these problems, I mean, what's your reaction? When someone through their rhetoric continues to demean you and demean who you are as a Guatemalan, a Honduran, a Mexican, it becomes a matter of national honor. There is a way to achieve our own interest without insulting our neighbors. But you kind of have to admit, you know, it's not even that much of a heterodox opinion these days, but you kind of have to admit that it works. What Donald Trump says domestically works. People voted for him, people wanted that wall. Well, it worked in this country. chanting that wall, it worked in this country. But that except, is what except is- Except that illegal yeah. migration now on his watch is the highest it's been in 12 years. So plainly, what we are doing to enforce our border security now for the last 
two years is not working. 